Hi, I'm Turk Strongman at Duran Kirama Trucking. Thank you for selecting this video on, I don't know, man, taking advice from other people or having your own experience in life, learning from your own experiences rather than what somebody else says to do. Okay, there. That's what it's about. And how to think right about that. <laughs> But before I continue, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, then pause the video right now and do it. There. I'm not asking. And activate the notification bell feature while you're at it. Kill two birds with one stone. <laughs> and if by the end of the video you find it you like it, give it a thumb up. If you don't like it, give it your other thumb up. But don't give it your middle finger. Share the joy of the channel with others. Now, are you ready? Let's go. As soon as my wife gives me my coffee. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. You're welcome. You're a deer. In fact, you're a doe. Okay, let's go. All right, look. Sometimes she says, I want to learn from my own experience. You know, I'm twice her age, and I give her a lot of life advice, and often she does not follow it very well. <clears throat> and it ends up usually with something getting broken or something somebody getting hurt emotionally or something just going wrong you know and damage is done it might be social damage it might be financial damage it might be physical damage it might be bodily damage just stuff goes wrong and it's very difficult for her do you mind me saying this i mean i'm not this is not a video about you you know or anything bad about you. It's, 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 it's part of my life experience here, guys, in this video, that I'm sharing with you only because it makes relevant what I'm going to tell you for you. There. I'm not going to pick on somebody else's family, you know. I'll just refer to my own, my wife and I, okay? And you have my permission. Yep. There you go, guys. I'm not talking bad about my wife behind her back. I'm talking bad about her right in front of her face. No. Look. All right. All joking aside. Okay. <clears throat> I'm twice her age. I have a lot more life experience than she does. I have a lot more insight into things than she does. And one of the reasons why she found is she loved me and loved me and, you know, liked me and liked me and loved me and liked me in the first place 11 years ago was because... She figured that I seemed like maybe the only person she was ever going to run into or run into she was ever going to come across in her life who might be able to actually guide her in making better decisions and acting in more effective and efficient ways and more constructive manners in her life. The only person she may ever run into who would, you know, a male who she could mate up with who could do that because she needed it okay so she got lucky okay now if you have the good fortune of having somebody who can tell you how to do things better or teach you how to do things or give you good constructive advice about life and then you go off and do something different because you don't want to do what somebody else tells you to do number one or Number two, you want to gain your own experience in life. You want to make your own mistakes and then fix them up, you know, willing to take responsibility for them. You want to make your own mistakes and then clean up the mess and learn from your own experience. That's number two, right? Remember number one, you don't want to do something that somebody else tells you that you should do. You just don't want to take good advice, okay? And number three, you don't want to follow any of this line of thinking here over either one of those things because somebody else is hitting here on the internet, me, giving you this kind of information. So you're going to ignore the whole thing. So that's like number three. <laughs> well, you're thinking wrong about it if that's the way you are. That's the way my wife is most of the time. Thinking wrong about it. Is that correct? Yes. Say it loud, please. Yes, it is. 
Yes, it is. Did you hear that? Okay. All right. She's not thinking correctly about it. Now, I'm going to tell you the same as I've told her. And what I said to you, was it good? Does it, it sound like it's true? Yeah. In correspondence with reality? Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's three yeses in a row, guys, so you better put your beer down and pay attention. Turn off the freaking game and pay attention. All right. See, this idea, I'm going to just use me again. I'm not going to, I'm going to try to stay away from two general terms, okay? You know, things that are just too general to even know what I'm talking about. I'll, 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 I'll use real people here, my wife and I. Let's say I tell her to do something. There, that's general, all right? I'm not going to pick a specific thing. All right, let, let me make one up. Let's say I she uses a power chair quite often because she has some leg problems, okay? <clears throat> so, let's say I tell her that it's probably going to be a really good idea insofar as when you are walking, you tend to fall. And you tend to fall here in our home. Home, and it's shocking when it happens. It's not comfortable to see happen. It's shocking. It, it definitely changes the state of mind in the living room for a little while. Let's say I'm making a video, and boom, I hear this big crash, stuff falling, and there's my wife trying to climb up off the floor again because she's tired. And so her foot drags. This is related now to see being in a power chair. So she th takes out a power chair, or she goes to the local park, and then takes a walk. But often, I mean, that's what she says she's going to do. But then she doesn't do that. She maybe does that once a month. Well, that's not enough. This is something that she needs to do because of cerebral palsy. Okay? She's going to have to do this every day. She needs to pay attention to this. This is one of those things in life, a basic thing. And there's something else I wanted to bring in, too. Just, you know, like, sticking with basics. The things that make all the more complicated things in life work well. They're, they're complex structures of activity, whatever. But there are building blocks there. You know, that show up in all kinds of other activities, too, in life. They're the basic things. And, okay, I wanted to bring that up, too. Now that I did, let's go on and see if this all can tie together somehow. All right. Let's say I tell her, look, you're falling in the house here because your leg's getting tired. <clears throat> and your leg is not going to get so damn tired. If you adopt a certain state of mind, which I know you can, because I've, I know you could, I've, I've known you to do it. And so do you, right? And it involves certain kinds of activity every day, like go to the park and take your walk in the park. If you need to take your cane with you, take your cane with you, but take your walk. But don't go down the middle of the street here. The road, the local road, is not a street because I'm not in the city, right? It's a road and a lot of rapid moving, rapidly moving traffic and dump trucks because there's a quarry a quarter of a mile away. A limestone quarry. Fred Flintstone works there. Okay? <clears throat> These trucks go by. You know, a, a, little, a little female in a power chair? Pretty hard to see. Okay? So I, the idea is, take the power chair. Don't be walking, because that's even worse. Because she stumbles and falls, wavers, maybe sometimes it gets out of balance, especially when the foot starts to drag. Now, look, I'm telling you that don't you dare click away yet because I'm talking about somebody with cerebral palsy whose foot drags just because you don't have cerebral palsy and your foot doesn't drag. You got some other shit going on. All right? Whatever yours is, whatever stops you. From listening to what other people tell you is going to work better for you when you can tell damn straight that they're right. 
okay? But then you go off and want to do something different. She doesn't go to the park and take her walk. Then she falls down in the house. Stuff gets broken. I get pissed off. It's stuff that I already had in my life long before she came along. Maybe even before she was a sparkle in her father's eye. All right? Gets broken. The atmosphere gets upset. I have PTSD anyway from a lot of stuff, including mm -hmm, military. All right, look. Somebody clumps down on the floor in front of me, and I'm not even, I don't even know they're standing there in the first place at the moment, because maybe I'm making a video like this, and crash. And now stuff's falling. It's like, oh, Jesus. First of all, it's, what the hell was that? You know? And then it's, oh, my, whoa. It, ah! Again. This stuff happens, right? It's, in other words, Something's just going foul. And if the proper exercise and the proper state of mind was being applied to proper attention to the proper, you know, working with the proper basics every day, you know, like when you go to the park and take that walk, there are basics involved. Bend your knee, for one. You bend your front knee, then you bend your other knee. Don't act like you have a wooden leg, because you don't. Bend that knee. Get that foot picked up. Pay attention to that. Put some time in every day, like right then. A little walk in the park. To those basics. Because you have a walking malfunction. That you have to care for. It's not because of a recent injury. And eight weeks or, you know, six weeks or eight sessions of physical therapy are going to get you back in shape. It's not that kind of a thing. Okay? All right, so. You do this. You have this state of mind, you have this kind of attention, you do these activities every day, and you, st you repeat this, repeat it, repeat it, repeat it, just keep doing it the same, on and on. And I'm, you know, and here I am, I'm telling you this. You wanted somebody who could give you advice over stuff that you just couldn't seem to figure out in your life. Well, here I am. But yes, I get it, I get it, I get it, that's what I'm going to do, that's what I'm going to do. And then it's on, you know, off to the park. Yes, I paid attention to my walking. And then it doesn't ever happen again until it becomes an issue because she fell down in the house, tired, the legs drip, you know, you know, uh, dragging on, you know, the foot's dragging on the floor, gets caught on the carpet, something like that. Something's getting ruined, whatever, carpet's getting torn up, and we just had it replaced, you know, whatever, stuff like that, okay? And I see, like, oh, great. So, seems like every time I give you something to do that's going to bring on good results, you go do it differently. Because you, is it, you know, like, why? Well, one reason, Turk Strongman, it would be because I just want to, I just want to think for myself. I want to make up my own decisions about what to do. Or in a slightly different context, okay, or slightly analogous type of circumstance in life. I want to learn from my own experiences. I want to make my own mistakes. And then I'll fix them up, and then I will have learned. Or I just don't want to be taking advice from other people. I don't want to feel like I don't know anything by always... You know, like, building my life upon things that other people are telling me. I want to do this all myself. Okay, look. All right, let's just put it in simple terms now, because those are all similar types of thinking. So, the principle's the same behind them, and the principle of reason why it's wrong thinking, and the principle of correct thinking about it will apply to all three, so I'll just pick the first one. And we'll just keep it in terms of that now. But you see the breadth of this. Okay, now let's stay a little more specific. I want to make up my own decisions. I don't want somebody else deciding for me. I want to make my own choices about how I will do things in life. I just want to be able to choose for myself how I'm doing stuff. I don't want to be doing stuff just because somebody else said. So if you tell me 
that you want me to do this this way, you, this is the thing, the thing that's going to work best. And because, yes, you own this home, and this is your stuff, and you're the one with the PTSD that keeps popping up every time some of this shit goes down. All right, you're telling me this is the way to do it. And I can tell that's a good way. But because you said it now, I'm not going to do it. Because you said it. I don't want to just do what you say. I want to choose my own things. Okay. Let's stick with that one. That's the wrong thinking. I can make this video real simple now that the stage is set. Here's the right thinking. I'm going to select to do it the way you said. That's my choice. I'm going to do that out of all the other options that I could have heard from a million other people. A million other options I could have heard from a million other people. You just happen to be the poor cocksucker who I'm going to say, if I do it because you said it, then it won't be my selection. I could have done all these. I, I want to choose among all those other ones. Which really are coming from somewhere else anyway. One way or the other. All right. The correct thinking is, I'm going to select that one. That he just said. And there are a lot of reasons why I should be doing that. Especially if it's this case like with my wife and I. A lot of reasons. I mean, even one would be to just keep me from getting really pissed off because it's the, what, 498th time I've had to say this thing, you know, over that thing, that specific thing, that notwithstanding, I mean, that could be one reason, right? But look, the correct thinking is I'm going to select to do it that way. I am making up my own decision here. The only thing he's doing is saying it. He's not going to be the one choosing it today to start incorporating that in or to continue it. It's me doing that. And the experience gained from it and the experience doing that isn't his experience. It's mine. That's the correct thing. Who's the one doing the experiencing? If I tell her, do this, do it like this, or there's going to be shit here at home you don't like, and I don't like, and I'm going to get pissed off, and I'm going to, I'm going to talk to you like you're a fucking idiot. <laughs> and you don't like that, and I don't like doing that. All kinds of reasons to just do what's being said. But it's not because that's what's being said. And it's not because so-and-so said it. It's not for any reason other than, I mean, the first primary, essential, and ongoing reason underneath it all is I'm choosing to do that. I pick that one. And when you go into the experience of following through with that, with that mindset at the start, then it's not too difficult to also realize that the experience being had is yours. I just said to her a while ago in explaining this. If I go to the top, if I if I ride the world's highest roller coaster and I have experience going down that first hill. The world's highest roller coaster, with the highest drop, of course, being the first one. I've done that. And I say to her, man, you really need to go to such and so, you know, ride park over there in whatever state or country or hemisphere or planet. I want you to experience that. You should experience that. Okay. So let's say she or 
now it's you, okay? I'm going to just pick directly on you guys. Okay, so let's say this conversation is with you. And you have all the characteristics of my wife. Even if you're a guy. Listen. PTSD, you don't believe me? Medical for PTSD. All right, now listen. So now you decide you're not going to go ride that roller coaster because you won't be selecting it for yourself. You'll be doing it because I said so. Well, darn, took that experience away from you. Ruined that for you. And let's say, all right, you're going to overlook that part. And you go ahead and go. But then, as you're going down that hill, and once you get off, and for the rest of your life, you remember it as not having been your experience. Nope, you didn't learn that was like what that was like from your experience. Nope, it was Turk Strongman's. Nope. Yeah, you wanted to learn from your own experience. Uh, he stole that from you, too. Now it's not yours. Bullshit. Who experienced going down that hill at that moment that I just spoke of a moment ago? It was you. Did I? Was I getting the thrill out of it that time? No. It had nothing to do with me. All I did was say it. The picking up with it and making it yours in thought and action and result is yours. Now, don't forget that because I know a lot of people through life will not listen to the advice of others even when it sounds like the right thing and you know it is. And then they will not feel good about having learned from their own experiences. They will, in fact, believe that they're not learning from their own experiences. But who the hell else did the experience? Really, seriously, guys, don't forget it. This is really good advice for you in life. And I don't care who you are, because you're guilty of the wrong thinking if you're over about, I don't know, 10 years old. Okay? Did you like the video? Then give it a thumb up. If you thought it was really stupid, you didn't like my attitude, you didn't like it at all, give it your other thumb up. But do not give it your middle finger. And if you comment, comment courteously. Activate the notification bell feature immediately after you subscribe to this channel. Remember, share this with others and remember that you also heard it right here in Thrangi Ramacharaka. I'm Turk Strongman. I'll go be well.